All right, I um, have this piece of trash here that um, I want to make into something a little better. It's not a piece of trash. Um, I call it trash because it, it came from a basement clean out. I actually paid money for this, like 15 to $20, I'm not sure, which I think I overpaid, but I just thought it might make a fun project. Um, I got it from Facebook Marketplace. There's no truss rod that I can see. I don't even know if this is wood. It's missing tuner gear. Um, it's made in China. But I, I don't even know if it's wood. I'm going to take it apart. And I want to make it into something cool. So I'm hoping to use one of my small hubcaps. Um, and I also will have like have it so that there's like a little tailpiece so I'll probably reuse this tailpiece just as a string holder as a but then I'll have like a uh, use it as a tailpiece but I'll have like maybe a bridge here out of a bolt so you can get that kind of resonator effect um, and I'm not going to use the speaker obviously or the battery and it does still work though so that's a before sound um, and I probably won't use, I probably won't use this pickup. I'm not sure what I'll use at this point, but I'm going to start by taking this apart and then we'll see it, what it's made out of. Um, and probably can use this body for something in the future, but we'll see what this is made of. And then we'll attach a piece of wood and go through this, uh, this or another small hubcap like this. I have a Ford one that might work as well. Okay, now the wood that I'm going to glue to the back of the neck, this is narrower um, than I would normally use, but I think for this um, and smaller scale to be okay. And this is a very, very strong wood. Um, and some of the last that I have of this um, bunch of wood that I found in the same place. Um, and I've used it several times and it's really strong. So I'm going to actually probably bring it up to here so it'll be on there even further up and then we'll um, we'll be able to shape it a little bit after it's you know glued so I'll just clamp it glue it with a tight bond original clamp it and then um, after it's fully cured then I'll, I'll drill a few holes in it uh, put some screws in there to hold it tighter Now I was just looking at um, the hubcaps that I have to, to use and what I think I'm going to do is add this piece of uh, hardwood that was inside a cigar box. Um, so because I even if I notched my hubcap it was still going to be way too high. Um, this will still this will be really strong and, and you'll see we'll be able to we'll be able to test it out. These are really hardwoods and I think it's going to be absolutely fine. Well, while this is being clamped up, there's um, something I forgot to mention and something I actually forgot to do was to measure the scale length. Um, so to measure from the nut to the bridge, and I just took it apart without measuring it, which that doesn't really matter um, because sometimes you might start with it, just a neck you might find um, for sale or something. So when this is all taken apart, all you have to do is measure from from the nut, from the beginning of the nut here, 
to the 12th fret. So whatever the length that is, let's just say, for example, it's 10 inches, but it's not, it's a little bit less. But for just because of this is, I'm not gonna measure it with this, all this stuff in here. So say it's 10 inches, then you would go from the middle of the fret here, 10 inches would be where you would put your bridge. So on this type of instrument, you'll probably have like a bolt or something as your bridge and that will be that will be totally adjustable so you can set it in the area before you uh you know while you're just setting it up and check your intonation at the 12th fret and then you can uh move it around slightly so that's just something that i forgot to do but it's not important if you you know measure and as i said you might start with just a neck that you could fi might find at a yard sale or something and that's really all you need is a neck and you, you can use a bolt or, you know, anything for the bridge. So, um, as far as the hubcaps, I, I think I showed the Volkswagen one I had. This is the Ford one that I have. This one, I won't have to, uh, notch it at all with my, uh, the way I had this set up. But if I want to use the Volkswagen one, which is what I originally wanted to do, I'll still, it's so high, it doesn't look like it, but it's much higher. And I'll have to uh, maybe uh, notch it. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I'm not. I don't know. I guess I'll have to see. Okay. So similar to a uh, to an acoustic guitar, I'm gonna have my body, the body, which is the hubcap. I'm gonna screw that into this uh, piece of wood here. And then in the back, I'll have a block of wood for the, uh, for the tailpiece. So that I'm relying on that partially to help stiffen the, uh, you know, this, this part here. But I'm also gonna glue this in similar to a brace you would have on a guitar, just to kind of stiffen it up a little. Um, as you can see, I, because I have this, usually I just put that piece in. Um, here's a banjo I made out of scraps and so I just have this one like there instead of this little block here but uh, but as I said the reason why I did that I didn't I wanted to I didn't want to have any sharp edges on here so I just wanted to put, screw that right on there and it's just a short run so I think it's going to be fine but each each uh each instrument, each like hubcap is different and so you just have to work with what you have and work with what works. Okay, so at this point, I had used a little bit of wood filler. I didn't, do, I didn't get into really a lot of detail with that, but I used a little bit of wood filler and I painted this off camera um, using an enamel paint, which I don't normally use on guitars, but I wanted to have this specific color. Um, it's been like three days and it still has that kind of sticky feeling. And that's why I don't use enamels on guitars. I use lacquer. But anyway, that's what I used. It'll, it'll dry eventually, and I will wet sand it down a bit. Um, so at this point, I'm going to um, mark where I want to drill a couple of holes. I'll put a screw in here, like on an angle in here, and a couple in the back. I'll drill the holes off camera, um, and then I'll just show you uh, how I put them in. And then at the, after you get to that point, this is where you might have to make some compromises or you might have to just measure more or do some more work, pre-work, but um, I don't really care about that. But uh, if, you, if you want this to be a totally fretted only instrument, 
Um, you may have to trim your hubcap or find a different hubcap. Um, but at this point, I'm happy if it's just slide only. I'm not, you know, we'll see once we get to the how well we can set it up. Okay, so what I did with the uh, tailpiece, um, I took the, all the saddles off and I turned it around and I'm just putting the uh, strings through the holes where these were. Um, so the distance between this and the nut doesn't really matter because this will be our bridge and this will be adjustable uh, once we're ready to do that. So let me put the rest of the strings on and we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so it's all together, um, except I, I'm missing this uh, little string hole down. Uh, it's around here somewhere, but as you can see, my place is a mess because I'm working on like five different projects right now at a time. Um, not because I have to, but because I, I guess I get distracted. Um, anyway, so the distance between the nut and the 12th fret and the 12th fret and this um, this is a 5 16 bolt, or it would be approximately the same. So, so when you do your, you, you would do your intonation adjustments, this piece here is adjustable. You can move it forward. If it's flat at the 12th, you can move it forward. And, or if it's sharp, you can move it back. Just make little adjustments at a time. Um, I will go uh, uh, do a little play demo on this. It is way too small for my hands, but um, for playing chords, but I'll do the best that I can and maybe I'll see what it sounds like with a slide too. Thank you. 